a song to describe J. Carlia. Um, oh, I know. <laughs> I would say Big Booty by Gucci Mane featuring Meg Thee Stallion. And the reason I chose that song is because the mathematics on that booty, it just, that song was for me. Like, the song was for me. You know. I'm just playing, y'all. Because if I stood there right now, it'd be like, womp, womp, womp. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> What's up, what's up, what's up, J Babe? Welcome back to Make Up with J Carlia, among other things. Today we are doing other things, all right? Today we are doing a QA, getting to know the real J Carlia. Leah, all right. So you guys see me on YouTube. I'm new to this, obviously. Um, you've seen me do the makeup tutorials, but I wanted you guys to get a chance to see who I really am. So you see the face behind the face, right? All right. So we're gonna jump right in this thing. What I did was uh went on all of my social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, and I allowed all of my followers, all of my friends to ask me whatever it is that they wanted to ask me. Get to know me. Ask what you're curious about. And I'm about to answer it all right here, right now. All right? All right. So, let's just jump straight in there, okay? So, with that being said, since we letting it all hang out, let me just let the cat out of the bag, baby. I'm hot, okay? This is nice. This is this is dope. I'm hot, baby. I'm hot. I'm hot. That is hot. I'm hot, child. I'm hot. Lord. Anyway. All right. So, <laughs> question number one. Why did you start a YouTube channel? I started a YouTube channel because... Um, okay, so to tell you why I started a YouTube channel, I have to tell you why I got into makeup. So, um, I have had, uh, dark marks. I looked at my arm to show y'all dark marks or whatever blemishes. Um, because ever since I was little, I had eczema. I'm gonna make a long story short. I had eczema and I would pick at it and then it began, it developed into, um, a different form of OCD. So... I'll explain that in a later video. Um, but, however, it left me with these dark spots on my face, on my arms, on my legs, uh, pretty much the majority of my body. So, um, as I grew older, I uh, began to have self-esteem issues about it. So, once I was older, I started getting into makeup to cover the scars that were on my face. And, you know, it grew into a passion of mine. So, I wanted to share that with people. And then I also grew um, a liking to it so much to where I wanted to do it for other people. So I have learned how to do it on myself and I'm still perfecting, still getting better. Um, and I just wanted to take you guys on this makeup journey with me. So next question. <laughs> okay. What are your plans for YouTube content? What can we expect? All right. So my plans for my YouTube content is makeup. Okay, uh, primarily that's my main focus is makeup. However, that is not all that you will see. You can expect a lot actually uh, because although I started it to do makeup, it actually put me back into my creativity because I really am a creative. Like I am a creative for real. Um, so doing the YouTube, getting back into it, it literally just started those creative juices back to flowing. But you can expect um, makeup tutorials. You can expect product reviews. You can expect um, poetry. You can expect... Um, some music on this thing you can expect some fashion on this thing uh you can expect some guest appearances on this thing um so just stay tuned make sure you subscribe make sure you like these videos make sure you hit that bell so you can get notifications and you won't miss out all right next question <laughs> how old are you i am 27 next question 
All right. When's your birthday? My birthday is October 4th. I am a lucky Libra. My nick would say Libra. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. But I'm a Libra. Yes. We the best. I already know. You ain't even got to say it. I know. <laughs> anyway. Do you have any kids? No, I don't have any kids. Um, But I do have two nieces, Zaria and Malia, and a nephew, Elijah, who are like my babies. I treat them like my own. So, no, I don't have any children of my own. However, I have extended babies that I love. What is your dream job? Um... To work for myself, honestly. I don't have a dream job necessi necessarily. Um, I There are a number of things that I um, want to do that I'm endeavoring into. Is endeavoring a word? Anyways, there are... <laughs> <laughs> there are a number of things that I'm getting into that I'm passionate about. So, um, my main, I was to answer that pretty much to sum it up, I want to be in a position to where I can do what it is that I want to do. I want to be my own boss. So, I want to, yeah, I want to do my own thing. So, um, but I got my foot into corporate and I got my foot into entrepreneurship. So, you know, I'm working it. I'm working it. <laughs> All right, next question. Do you like surprises? Um, I like surprises, but they have to be... I don't like bad surprises, like a surprise that something bad happened. No, let me just say that. No. However, I like a good, genuine surprise. Like, if it was something that I expected, like I really kind of knew that this was about to happen, I don't really consider that a surprise. But those times where I literally w did not know this was about to happen, like I literally was not expecting it, I absolutely loved it. Like when you get me, like when you get me and it's a good genuine, oh my, oh my, oh, 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 oh my God, you did. Yeah, I love it. I love it. <laughs> okay, so next question. Do you have a favorite food? Honey, listen, I don't know, um, this ain't, this ain't come from, uh, having a favorite food, baby. I like it all. I like it all, poo. Now, I do have some favorites, you know, that are at the top of my list, but I don't have one single favorite food, but some of my favorite things to eat, I love, um, sushi. I love, uh, Mexican food, um, and I'm a cheese eater, a bread eater. Um, let me not keep listing because it'll go on and on and on and on because I like it all, baby. I like it all. Anyway, next question. <laughs> what is a pet peeve of yours? Whew, child. Okay. A pet peeve, just one. Um... I hate, I really, really hate when a person thinks they have a point and they don't. Like, shut up. Like, I hate when a person, they just be, they really do feel like they're validated or they feel like what they're saying is a point behind it or, you know what I'm saying? They just behave as though I, I got a point. Like, I was, you didn't have a point shut up anyway but yeah that's i hate when somebody think they got a point and they don't anyway if that makes sense are you single yes i am single tyrone now i'm just playing <laughs> nobody named tyrone asked me that i'm just joking okay why are you single um first of all you and my business and i don't like the Anyway, <laughs> I'm single by choice because um, I just kind of got over the whole situationship phase. I got over the whole choosing the wrong guy phase. I got over the whole settling phase. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to focus on me. And that's what I'm doing, uh, building me, building my relationship with God. And that's going swell for me. So, I'm cool. I'm chilling. 
Next question. What's one thing that most people don't know about you? Um... Hmm. It's a lot y'all don't know about me. But one thing that y'all don't know is I can rap. I got bars for days, actually. So, yeah, that's something y'all can expect on this channel, too. Real soon, too. Real soon. So, be on the lookout. Make sure you subscribe now because you're going to miss it if you don't. Anywho, do you have siblings? Yes, I have siblings. I have an older sister, Bernicia. Um... She is 32. She just turned 32 in January. Um, and I also have a younger brother, Emmanuel. He is, don't make me lie to you, he is 16, 15, 16, 16. I'm going to go with 16 for 200, Alex. Anywho, um, <laughs> yes, I have siblings. Are you spoiled? Um... No, I'm not spoiled. I'm a middle child. So, no, I'm not spoiled. Okay, so I'm not spoiled to the point of I get what I want or I need a lot of attention or anything like that. Um, I would say I'm, I don't know if you would consider this spoiled, but um, I was always taken care of. Like, I always had what I needed. That's I just consider that my parents doing their job. I don't consider that spoiled. I wasn't like a silver spoon baby or nothing like that, but... No, I'm not spoiled. What is one word that your friends use to describe you? Weird. <laughs> Weird. So, yeah. And it's true. Um, I'm just different. I do some different stuff. Like, if you hang around me, you'll get to know. You'll see. Like, um, I'm actually an outgoing introvert. Like, right now, on camera, I'm being very outgoing. Like, I'm laughing, cracking jokes, and all of that. But if you see me in person, I'll do that. But it'll take a little prying first. Like, I'm going to be, you know, just chill. And you'll probably be like, this ain't the same J. Carly you did I seen on camera. But it's me, though. Just let me warm up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. Okay. <laughs> um, Let's see. Let's see. Mmm. -hmm. Um, uh, 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 let's see. Do you smoke? Me? Smoke? Smoke? What? That, how many lights I got on? Anyway, you and my business and I don't like that. <laughs> Next question. Do you drink? <laughs> Um, now I'm just playing. Okay. <laughs> so, um, okay. So I definitely used to smoke. How, how long ago? You and my business. And I don't like that. Okay. Um, but no, seriously, that is, um, going to be a whole nother video discussion, but I'm going to for this video purposes, I'm going to leave it at I used to. But that's a journey and conversation that I'm going to take y'all along with me, too. Um, as far as drinking goes, I don't drink. Um, I do like wine, though. I do like wine. But I'm not a drinker. They don't do nothing for me. And I know somebody out here like, yeah, you just ain't drunk the right thing yet. No, alcoholic. I don't drink. <laughs> okay. What's something that you do that's annoying? Me? Annoying? Huh. I don't really know. Like, I'm not... I can't think of anything. I'm trying. Uh... No. Uh... Annoying. Something that I do that's annoying. Oh, that's a doozy. I've drawn a blank. I, I literally cannot think of anything. 
I'm, I'm quite disappointed with this accent because it used to be a lot better, but I've not done it in a while, so it's a little rusty. I'll, I'll have to practice it a little more. Uh, but uh, annoying, I really can't think of anything. Everybody loves everything about me, so, you know, there's that. Next question. What type of music do you listen to? Oh, I listen to literally everything like literally when i say i listen to all types of music i listen to all types of music my uh playlist if i just put it on shuffle in the car it will go from kirk franklin to kevin gates to india Ari to maroon five to big crit to bj the chicago kid to gucci man you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's it's a plethora. I like it all. I like it all. Um, But yeah, I like it all. For real, for real. What is one song to describe you, my personality? Um, A song to... Is it a song called Clumsy? Because, clearly. Anyway, um... A song to describe Jay Carlia. Um, oh, I know. <laughs> I would say Big Booty by Gucci Mane featuring Meg Thee Stallion. And the reason I chose that song is because the mathematics on that booty, it just, that song was for me. Like, the song was for me. You know. I'm just playing, y'all. Because if I stood there right now, it'd be like, womp, womp, womp. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, but no, for real. A song to describe me, I would say, um, that's hard. That's hard. Because I got to pick just one. Um, I would say, mm, Savage. By Meg Thee Stallion. Not because <laughs> I'm like... So listen, I live my life vicariously through trap music. So, you know, boom, there's that. Secondly, the reason I chose this song is because there are layers to me. There's layers to me. I'm classy. I can be bougie. I can be ratchet. You know, I can be all of it. I can be all of it. I can fit what I what I need to be in this setting, in this moment, at this time. And I'm all of it. And at whichever one I choose to be, at the end of the day, I am that queen. That's just that on that. Anyways, but yeah, I'm going to go with that. That's the one I'm going to choose. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What else? I was filtering through some of these questions, too, because y'all are... Y'all need y'all need Jesus, okay? I'm not answering that, okay? You know who you are, and you know what you asked. Nasty. Why you got to say nasty, Ray? Cause I'm a nasty mother. Nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> what is something that people think about you, but it's not true? Um, that I'm nice. I'm actually not. But no, don't don't get me wrong. I really am nice. I really am a sweetheart. Uh, but when I say people think I'm nice, it's like a people think because I'm cool and I'm nice that they can play with me, that they can try me. And who um it's okay because they soon learn. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, that's something that people assume that I'm just, um, or maybe I shouldn't say nice. Maybe I should say they think that I'm a pushover. Hmm. That's what I should have said. But yeah, this ain't it. Where are you from? I was born in Memphis, but I uh, grew up in Mississippi primarily, but I definitely was back and forth to both because my mom is from Memphis and my dad is from Mississippi. So yeah, I was in both, but I went to school primarily in Mississippi. All right. So where do you plan to live? Um, 
Right now, I currently I still live in Mississippi. Um, I I don't know. I'm I I haven't thought about it. I've thought about it, but I don't know. I don't have a place in mind if I leave Mississippi. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. If I leave Mississippi, it'll be futuristically. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to let God lead me on it. So, you know. But for now, I'm a Southern Belle. You know. <laughs> the last question was, what, what is your greatest weakness and what is your greatest strength? Okay. So... I would say my greatest weakness is my communication because um, I can be feeling a way about something or I can, um, you know, have an idea or, you know, something that needs to be conveyed or something that needs to be addressed or, you know, and I won't say anything about it or I can say something about something that I should have left alone or I don't communicate something right or I'll just have this thing where if something bothers me I just you know whatever I'll shut down and so that's a weakness because you know that communication got to be strong you got to use your voice baby you got to speak your truth you got to say how you say what you mean to me what you say and that's just that on it and that's probably why people think I'm a pushover anyway because they don't I communicate it wrong. I don't I don't turn up until it's built up. So that's bad communication. Anyway, I'm working on it though. My greatest strength. Um I would say my greatest strength is my ability to forgive. I think so because um God blessed me with the ability to be a very patient person. Um for the most part at least. <laughs> um but I pretty much, I know how to let stuff go. Like, I know how to just let just let it go. Like, I know how to be offended and deal with it within myself and let it go. Like, and, and be okay with it. You know? And still love. And still love. You know? So, yeah, I think that's a strength. And it's not always fun. And it can be painful. Uh, But, you know, it's okay. That's life. You know? It is what it is. But that was all my questions, guys. That's what you... Well... That was all the questions that I put, that I chose to answer. Nasties. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, that was it. I really do hope that from this video, you were able to get a little bit more of J. Carlia's personality. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you had fun. I hope you learned something new about your girl. And I hope you'll be back because I have so much more in store and I'm really excited. I'm really enjoying this journey so far. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to everybody that has supported me and that is supporting me. That's jumping on board and on this journey with me. I appreciate you. I see you and I love you so, so much. Um, thank y'all. And if you haven't yet, subscribe. Go right now. Click the subscribe button. Go on and click the bell. Okay. Click the bell so you can get notifications. Go on, browse through and like some videos. Now go on, now go on, now go on. All right, I will see you guys next time. I don't know if I'm going to be doing makeup or other things. You just got to stay tuned to see. All right, and I'm out. What, 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 what?